Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. This is my first uh, first time ever on late night television. Really? Yes. Well, we're very honored, uh, very honored to have you. Thank you so much. I am uh, such a huge fan of this show. I'm such a huge fan of you on the show. Uh, for anybody who Thank hasn't you. caught up, this is a prequel to Breaking Bad. Had you? Uh, were you a fan of Breaking Bad before? I you? had never seen Breaking Bad, but I remember I was at my father's place and they were watching the finale of Breaking Bad. I walked in on the finale. That's what they I, say, jump in on the last episode. Yeah. Coming, <laughs> when it, only when it gets good. But I, I remember seeing that episode and thinking it was breathtaking. I saw the name Vince Gilligan and I made a mental note to myself. And three weeks later I had an audition and lo and behold the name Vince Gilligan was on it. And if you ever believe in fate, that, that felt like a moment of fate right That's there. That's fantastic. This show, I will admit, and I, I've said this to other people on the show, when I first heard the idea that there was going to be this prequel, it sounded like a bad idea to me. And yet, it is so good and so riveting. And you play, I feel like a character that we've seen uh, this path before in the Breaking Bad universe, of you uh, have made a few bad decisions and they just continue to domino and things continue to get worse and you yeah. try to be good. And a lot, you do a lot of face acting of just <laughs> realizing how much <laughs> you're in. Yeah, there's, I mean, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. You know, a lot of the character, a lot of the, di a lot of the acting is non-dialogue based. Yeah. And um, the character's definitely watching, walking a razor blade and it's, it's just a hell of a roller coaster ride, man. We're having a blast. It is very stressful to watch. I imagine the scenes as, like, the clip we saw, they must be yeah. stressful to do. Do you have a way to decompress after, after um, shooting? A lot of chocolate, a lot of ice cream, <laughs> yeah. a lot of crying in the shower at <laughs> yeah. night. But um, I'd like to do, I've taken on the Muay Thai. Okay, uh, Muay Thai? Yeah, mar mar mixed martial arts. Yes. I really enjoy doing that. And uh, hot yoga. Hot yoga. Yeah. You uh, you uh, did uh, martial arts from a young age. Oh, this very is a seriously. This photo you yes. post recently on Instagram. Yeah. So there you are back in the day. There you go, yeah. There you, go. you do very... not want to run into that kid no, in the no, lunchroom. No. Yeah. He I... is going home with your milk. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking in that photo. I don't know who took that photo, but I, I can tell that I thought I looked badass. Yeah. But the person taking it must have thought that I... Didn't it's look really like... funny. I got young kids now. It's the funniest thing when they try to look cool for a picture and like <laughs> yeah. everyone's laughing and they're like, "This is I'm a cool dude." I'm and a you're... bad thing. Um, you uh, you had a, 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 a sort of a wild upbringing. You uh, grew up all over the place. You were born in Quebec, yes. Yes. Uh, you lived in Africa, mm -hmm. uh, and you sort of missed American pop culture for a time. Completely. You know, the only thing we didn't have any TV, and the only the only music I knew was Michael Jackson. Yep. And worldwide. Prince, yeah. yeah. And anything that kind of was like super box office from America would trickle over. So there was like Sylvester Stallone, Eddie Murphy, and that was it. Those, I only know three actors. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I learned to speak English watching, watching these movies. That's fantastic. A lot of F-bombs watching Eddie Murphy, yeah. yeah. You, you just like spoken Arnold Schwarzeneggerisms. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is an American accent. The first thing I learned how to say was, I'll be back. There you um, go. <laughs> You, uh, you shoot the show in New Mexico, mm -hmm. uh, just like Bring Bad. I have spent some time in New Mexico. My wife's family what, is yeah. from them. Yeah. And uh, uh, a lot of snakes. Yes. This is an issue for you. You are not a Very fan of snakes. No, not at all. Very serious issue. I'm terrified of snakes. And um, I was really, really scared. Every time I'd look at the, 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 the script, the first thing is, am I dead? And then the second thing is, do we have to shoot outdoor where there's snakes? <laughs> Those were my two biggest fears, to the point that Jennifer Bryan, the costume designer, and I, Thought it'd be, you know, because I'm a huge music fan yeah. and I love Quincy Jones. And Quincy Jones, I saw an interview of him, he said, You take the three worst songs on an album and you make them your three best. So I thought, Why don't I take the worst thing about this, this shooting, which are snakes, <laughs> and incorporate it? And we have Nacho now. Yeah, he's we, a big snake fan. You yeah. can see, I don't know if we can get in, but uh, you're always wearing a snake earring. You're very snake based. Yes, Jennifer um, Bryan, the costume designer. And I thought it'd be a good idea to embrace that. <laughs> there you yeah. go, embrace the snake. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, one of the things, um, I, it's a hard for me to talk to you about uh, because you only saw the last episode of Breaking Bad. Uh, your character... No, I saw the whole thing. You did see the and whole I thing, saw the, Yeah, for research, and I, guess I you, loved it. I you would have known this, but obviously your character's not in Breaking Bad, and a lot of people so say, uh, die yes. in yes. this show. Mm -hmm. So um, do you know yet? Have they told you your fate? They haven't told me yet, but I, I have to be honest. I think about it like this. I think... You know, the character, it's a, it's a, for me, it's a story of redemption. It's a character who did bad choices and is trying to do the right thing, trying to save his father and get out of the cartel. So whatever happens, you know, whether he dies or not, I hope just at least metaphysically 
he gets a second chance. Well, it's a, been a fantastic journey to watch. Uh, you're so great as the character. Thank and thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. So honored that this is your first. Thank you. Michael